I could go leave a fork. Yeah, I could totally go leave a fork. in my art stuff that isn't in the bike stuff obviously and when I saw the Cane Creek Helm special limited editions of the gold and I was just like that is a tasty like fork sure the translucent cherry red but the gold and I thought I could go leave a fork yeah I could totally go leave a fork it would be ridiculous, but it would look so cool. That floated in my head for a while. When I first saw the Cane Creek forks, I uh, didn't have these particular Z ones. They're still the older NX forks that were on the, the Ranger. So these are technically older, but they're a little bit, a bit harder charging. And I was looking for a change on the front fork anyway. And then when I saw these, here, I was just like, hmm, and when I was shipping them down just now, I think I found the fork to get the gold star treatment. So, got to top crowns, wrapped all the important anodized bits and anything I don't want to mess with in some vinyl for protection and gave all that aluminium good polish. And that's going to give a good base because we're going to have to give this a coat of primer so that the gold leaf will have something to stick to. So we put it onto the raw aluminium, it's going to be too easy to rub off. I've been doing a little bit of practicing on a set of cranks which now they're done they're a little bit ridiculous and I might have to put them on as well because once you start down a colorway combo you kind of have to finish it well there's gold on the bike now so we're just gonna have to gold everything. Gold and floral yellow what could go wrong nice and subtle it's like merging it out but with like blinding to the eye. So the next stage Let's give these a little primer and then we can get on to the leafing. The next question is then for the lowers. I think I might just give these a coat black and just a more modern Zocchi logo, just the M in gold. Subtle, because it's important to be subtle when you're gold leafing bicycle components. Now with the gold leaf, we're imitation because we're not made of money. And to protect that from damage and wear, we're gonna to have to then clear coat that. So we're gonna have a couple of coats of lacquer on there to protect it. Do the same with the bottoms as well. A couple of coats of lacquer on the black, and that'll be absolutely spot on. And then we can reassemble it. Reassembly dead easy, get some fresh seals in there because these ones got a few cracks on them and they're probably probably done. Got the fresh seals and we'll get a gallon of oil in there because they're Zockies so we'll need the best part of a gallon of oil in there and then we'll be ready to ride like it's 2003. So yeah, let's get to it. For our theme of doing stupid things to forks. Our crowns are now prepped and primed, ready to do some gold leaf. Gold leafing, in its essence, is a fairly straightforward process. We apply a special glue called size 
to the area you want to leave once it's prepared, ensuring that area is clean and grease free. We then let that cure for a period of time depending on what type of size it is. We wanted to get the correct level of tack. So if you're going to brush the back of your hand across it, just the hairs on the back of your fingers, just start to grab. That's when it's perfect. You then want to lift your gold leaf. Once that's on, we brush it down, following the contours of the shape until it's nice solid contact's been made the whole way around. We then let the size go off so it's completely dry, and then we brush all the excess off and create some glam rock glitter in the process. That will still be a very brittle, delicate surface. Oh, stand up to some stuff, but it won't stand up to mountain biking. So for this, we're going to have to apply some clear coat. So, let's get to it. Thank you. 